العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين محمد وأحل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين سيما الإمام المنتظر الحجة الثاني عشر روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفدا أما بعد السلام على ولي الله وحبيبه السلام على خليل الله ونجيبه السلام على صفي الله وابن صفيه السلام على حسين المظلوم الشهيد السلام على أسير القربات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept everyone's azadari and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst the ansar of Imam Zamana ajala ta'ala faraja sharif and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq that we can go for the ziyara of Aba Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam every year and every month if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the provision. Um, I'm not too sure how many of you have listened to the first talk on the first extract of Ziyarat Arba'in. I will shortly um, mention some of the merits and then inshallah I will talk about the sentence which I mentioned As-salamu ala asir al-qurubat that what does it mean when we are referring to Imam Hussain alayhi salam As-salamu ala asir al-qurubat peace and salutation upon the one the word asir meaning captive and Kurubat means, um, the word Kurubat is the plural of Karb, and Kurubat is the plural, which means calamities and grief. So the word Huzn is just a sadness which encompasses the heart, but the word Kurubat is the, the greater level of grief when it strikes your heart and your body itself and that is assalamu ala asir al qurubat and just to connect the previous session with this session so that you can understand the importance of this ziyarat arba'iniya this ziyarat arba'iniya is the the, uh, the ziyarat which imam sadiq alayhi salam has taught us the shias that whenever a mu'min goes for arba'in recites this ziyarat and within this ziyarat arba'iniya our imam alayhi salam is teaching us the position of mola hussein alayhi salam along with the atrocities and the oppression which mola hussein alayhi salam was inflicted by the banu umayya so the, for this reason it's very important so this is a universal message which Imam Sadiq alayhi salam is trying to give all of mankind whoever goes for the ziyarah of Aba Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam and I'm going to briefly talk about a few of the uh, pre previous uh, salams and then inshallah talk about assalamu as -salam ala asir al -qurubat. now in this ziyarat itself we mention the name of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam First of all, you say, Assalamu ala waliyillah wa habibi, peace and salutation of the beloved of Allah and the wali of Allah and his beloved. Assalamu ala khalilillah wa najibi, and peace and salutation upon the, fr the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the one who has been cho chosen. Assalamu ala safiyillah wa bin safiyyah. Peace and salutation, who is the chosen of Allah and the son of the chosen. Assalamu ala Hussein al Madhlum al Shaheed. So the name of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam is mentioned after several different qualities being mentioned. And these qualities, Waliyillah, Habibi, wa Habibi, Assalamu ala Khalilillah, wa Najibi, and then Assalamu ala Safiyillah, wa Bna Safiyya. There are six qualities by which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam are be, is being addressed. And these qualities are not ordinary qualities. These are actually qualities and attributes and titles of the prophets itself, which the prophets have been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Mullah Hussain alayhi salam is being addressed by the titles before his name is being mentioned. Meaning that Mullah Hussain alayhi salam 
is being introduced in Ziyad Arba'iniya with titles before we mention his name itself for people to understand and divert their attention towards the maqam of Abu Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam. And within this first sentence, Assalamu ala waliyillah. Peace and salutation of being the wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have Mawla Ali alayhi salam as wali of Allah, waliullah. We believe Mawla Ali alayhi salam, waliullah. And Mawla Hussain alayhi salam is also being given the title of waliullah. And wa habibi. And the beloved of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And then assalamu ala khalilillah. Peace and salutation upon Khalil. Khalil is the title of Rasulullah Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. After he went through the different tests and trials, he was given the maqam of Khalil. And then after Khalil, he became the, he was given the maqam of Imamat. And then assalamu ala safiyillah wa min safiyin. But before I go any further, I want to talk about the first sentence, and then inshallah, quickly I will talk about Asir al Qurabat. In the Quran, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed the Prophet as well. Now, the word as salam in the Arabic language, mashallah, I think the majority of you are from my Arabic language classes. Um, Everyone knows that Alif Lam in the Arabic language is the definite article, meaning the. And for example, I'll give you an example. Al-Kitabu, meaning the book, and Kitabun, a book. And in the Quran, <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed the prophets saying, Salamun ala Ibrahim in Surah Safat, verse 107. Now, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam was sent salam upon from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then in surah safat again 100 verse number 120 salamun ala musa wa harun peace and salutation upon musa and harun these words salamun without the alif lam the word salam is greetings but when it comes with alif lam the word salam or as salam is one of the attributes of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when it comes with as salamu, you're referring it to the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is free from any need and dependent from, or from His creation itself. As salam, he's, he's safe. He is protected and safe from any need of His people. As salam. And when we say salamun alaykum, we say this is the Islamic. Greeting that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his blessings and mercy upon you. But this, when it's mentioned in the ayat of the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses this to the prophets, this was the salutation which is coming with Alif without Alif Lam. This is in the meaning of greeting. And why was this salam sent salamun ala Ibrahim? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested Ibrahim, when he was put in, now these are the tests of Ibrahim. When Ibrahim alayhi salam was put in the fire of Nimrud, this was a difficult test for Ibrahim. He did sabr upon this. When Ibrahim alayhi salam had to sacrifice his son, Ismail alayhi salam, this was the test of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And there's another incident that he had to give food and wealth to the needy people who have who came to him. And these are the trial, trial, some of the trials and tri tribulations of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And due to that, and being successful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this salute, this tahiyya, tahiyya meaning this greetings upon them. Salamun. And on Ibrahim, uh, upon Musa alayhi salam, and Harun alayhi salam, this salamun uh, ala Musa wa Harun, it says in, in, it says in the Quran about Hazrat uh, Musa alayhi salam, has Harun alayhi salam, that they, Allah says that, innahu taga, meaning Harun, um, that Firon has become, has transgressed, he is oppressor. And when has Ibrahim, has Musa, and has Harun alayhi salam were successful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent sal salam upon them, greetings itself. And salamun ala ilyasin. 
this is one of the titles of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam without alif lam salamun. Now all of these are without alif lam. This in the Quran when it's coming, it's a meaning of greetings. But when we come to Mullah Hussein alayhi salam, it comes with alif lam assalamu. Here. The meaning of assalamu, the ulama have mentioned assalamu ala waliyillah. This alif lam in ziyarat arba'iniya, this compromises of two things. One is greetings, and the other is that as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute is assalam, that you are also doing dua upon Mullah Hussein alayhi salam because Allahu, who was salam, Allah is the, is the one who possesses salam, peace. And tranquility. And as you know, that Jannat as well. What is one of the names of Jannah? It's also called Darus Salam. So Darus Salam is the place of peace and tranquility. That there will be no death. There will be no shortcomings. Everything will be perfect. That is the reason why it's called Darus Salam. And when we say assalam with the alif lam, you mean whatever assalam should incorporate is incorporated when you're saying to Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. This is one of the maqamat unique from Mullah Hussain alayhi salam that all of what assalam should incorporate, meaning the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is possessing peace tranquility we are asking allah to send that peace and tranquility and that salam and dua and greeting to mullah hussein alayhi salam this is one maqam unique to mullah hussein alayhi salam that even the prophets have not been blessed in the quran with this type of address itself and mullah hussein alayhi salam is being addressed waliyullah or waliyullah he is the wali of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that on this planet Anyone who wants to become the friend of Allah, then you have to go to the ziyara of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam. That Mullah Hussein alayhi salam, he is the minaret of spirituality. And that's the reason why, brothers and sisters, that we have the ziyarat, the ziyarat of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam. It says, Manzara Gabr al Hussein, Kamanzara Allahu ala arshi. That one who visits the grave of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam. It is as if you have visited the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the proximity of Mullah Hussein with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as you know that in al Hussein, Misbahuda was Safinatun Najah. That this hadith has been inscribed on the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That surely Mullah Hussein alayhi salam is the ark of Sal in al Hussein, Misbahuda. He is the Lantern of God was Safina Tunja and the Ark of Salvation itself. And he is the Imam of goodness, respect, and knowledge and fortune. Whoever wants to change their life, go to the door of Aba Abdullah Hussain. You can change your stress into fortune by the Tawassal of Mullah Hussain. And as I would like to mention as well within this context that it say as you, you may remember or you may to refresh your memories is that the blood of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam and the blood of Ali Asghar and Ali Akbar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has regarded these bloods and had sent angels on the day of Ashura to collect this blood in a bottle and took this to the seven heavens and put it amongst his treasures and it mentions even the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to the majesty and the position of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam the earth shook now then we have assalamu ala habib assalamu ala waliyillah wa habib 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 is the one of the titles of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Habibullah. And as you know, to connect this and for you to understand, Habib, Habibullah, there's a hadith we recite. Husayn, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, Husayn minni wa ana 
Min al Hussein. Hussein is from me. Mullah Hussein alayhi salam is recognized before 61 AH as the grandson of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And Mullah Hussein alayhi salam has addressed Banu Umayyah on the day of Ashura that I am the son of Rasulullah. But after, as Ulama uh, Nakan Sabah said in his Shahid Insaniyat as well, that Mullah Hussein alayhi salam from the day of 60 after shahadat, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is now being recognized by Mullah Hussain alayhi salam due to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam's religion being preserved by the shahadat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. And this may be the, one of the reasons why that Imam Sadiq alayhi salam has said, Assalamu ala. Habib, Assalamu ala Waliyullah wa Habibi, and his Habib, and then Assalamu ala Khalilillah. Khalilillah, this is the title of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. When did Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam receive this title? I'll mention it shortly and then inshallah I'll start my topic. It says that this is for you to understand the maqam of Ibrahim and the maqam of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. If Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam was going to sacrifice one son, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam sacrificed all of his companions, all of his beloved family members for the sake of deen. And listen to this hadith. Inna Allah ittakhada Ibrahim abdan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam as a as a servant before he was taken as a prophet he was taken as a prophet before he was taken as a messenger he was taken as a messenger before he was taken as a khalil so Hazrat Ibrahim salam first was chosen to become the Abd of Allah then Nabi of Allah, then the Rasul of Allah, and then <laughs> after the Rasul of Allah, he became the Khalil of Allah. Once he became the Khalil, then he was given the maqam of maqam of Imamat itself. So the fifth position of Ibrahim salam is Imamat, and Mullah Hussain salam is being addressed by the title of Hazrat Ibrahim salam. Now. So what is the difference between Mullah Hussain alayhi salam being given the title of Khalilullah and the title of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam Khalilullah? What's the difference between the two? The difference is that Mullah Hussain alayhi salam Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam only intended to sacrifice his son and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of the sacrifice the ransom of a animal was given but Mullah Hussain alayhi salam gave the sacrifice itself of not only one son he gave all of his sons shaheed for the sake of deen and his ashab and also Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam gave some money and food to some people Mullah Hussain alayhi salam had control over the water of Furad and gave his enemies water. And then he was then kept under the thirst of Karbobala, the heat of Karbobala, despite being the owner of the heavens and the earth itself. And Mullah Hussain alayhi salam is regarded also Najibe. So the word Khalilullah is being, what is Khalil? Khalil is a person who is a position higher than a friend. Where Khalil is the one who you remember dearly. The one who you think about him often. And you cannot stay away from him. That is called a Khalil. And Mullah Hussain alayhi salam is given this title. And then from being amongst the ranks of Khalil of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then has chosen from the Khalil Mullah Hussain. The word Najib is being selected 
from amongst the Khalil. And this is proving the maqamat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. And this also proves that where the imamat of and the position of Mullah Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam is completed, that is the position where the maqam and the position of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam starts itself. As the sakras of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, as all of the imams I have said, and even the prophets, la yoma kayomika ya Aba Abdullah. La yoma, there is no day. Like your day, Abba Abdullah, the grief and the tragedy and the, the atrocities which Mullah Hussein alayhi salam faced, no prophet faced, no other imam faced like Mullah Hussein alayhi salam has faced. And this, from this ziyarat, the maqam of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam becomes more visible how Mullah Hussein alayhi salam is higher than in position than Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And then, Assalamu ala Safiyyillah. He is the one who has been chosen. Safiyyillah. Wabna Safiyy. And the son of the chosen. And even with regards to Mullah Hussain alayhi salam means Safiyyillah, the chosen one. This sacrifice of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam is something which even in Bihar and Nawar it has been highlighted that there it has been indication that there has been a promise between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Mullah Hussain alayhi salam before creation that Mullah Hussain alayhi salam will present this great sacrifice for preserving deen itself. And he is Safi, son of the Safiullah, the chosen one, and the son of the chosen, meaning Hazrat Mullah Ali alayhi salam. And then after being introduced by these titles, then we say As-Salamu al Hussain al mazlum al-Shaheed. Now we are addressing peace and salutation upon Mullah Hussain, who has been oppressed, and the one who is Shaheed. And then we come to our discussion of today. As-Salamu ala Asir al qurubat Peace and salutation upon the word Asir. So now the word Asir in the Arabic language, it means prisoner. Captive. The word sijnun or sajin means a person being put in captivity or in prison due to something which he has done and he is kept for his physical action, he is imprisoned. And here in this yarat, Imam Sadiq Islam is addressing the severity of the emotional trauma which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was facing in Karbobala as assalamu ala asir al qurubat peace and salutation upon the one who was captive by grief itself. The word huzan in the Arabic language, it refers to something which the heart is dominated with. That is huzan. And gham is slightly um, at a higher position than huzan. Then you have qarb, qarb as we karbobala. Now, the word karab is singular. Kurubat is the plural of karab, meaning severe grief itself. Adversities or stress. And <clears throat> even the Anbiya. Now, listen to the Assalamu al-Asir al-Kurubat. Peace and salutation, one who has been captive by stress and calamities that which had would, would dominate upon a person itself so that is called asir as you know sometimes you become sad and become upset stressed but sometimes you have a grief upon you which is so dominant upon you that you are not be a, you're not able to move or function in your day because of that grief that is the grief which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was facing on the day of Ashura. And Imam Sadiq alayhi salam wants every Zaid, when you're going for the ziyarat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, to be aware of this state of mind of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. And it is mentioned even in a hadith that when you go, you're meant to go in the state of grief of ziyarat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. You should not eat and take pack lunches with you and merry make in Karbobala. You should be in the state of Hosan. Go for the Ziyarat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. When you leave your hotels in Karbobala, you're meant to not to speak to anyone except the dhikr of Allah and grow in that state 
of hafian barefooted even better of course if it's difficult then wear your shoes and do not speak to anyone and do not merry make and do not have any uh, in, enjoyable time be in the state of good this is mentioned in hadith from the imams alayhi wasalam, how to truly give bursa to mula hussain alayhi salam let me come back in the quran the word karab has been used it says First of all, I'll read this about Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam. It says, وَنُوْهُنْ إِذْ نَادَى مِنْ قَبْ فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ فَنَجَّيْنَاهُ وَأَحْلَهُ مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ وَنُوْهُنْ إِذْ نَادَى When Nuh alayhi salam cried and we listened to him and, and, and saved him and his family from كَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ So even Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, despite the grief which he faced and the tests he faced, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has illustrated as Karbil, karbil Azim, not Asir al Qurubat. Great infliction or stress is different to be a captive in the stress itself. This is the maqam of Mullah Hussein in comparison to Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam, meaning the maqam of Mullah Hussein's Qarab and grief was greater than Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned. And even in another ayah, Qulillah, Allah says, Yunji, Qulillah say, Yunajikum minha wa min kulli karbin. And say in Surah 6, verse 64, say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you salvation and shelter minha wa min kulli karbin from every type of karb. And again, every type of karb is not as severe as the grief of Mullah Hussein alayhi salam, which he would face on the day of Ashura. And then, you may ask the question, what was the qurubat Mullah Hussein alayhi salam faced? Mullah Hussein alayhi salam on the day of, is everyone following so far? Because I have put everyone on mute. Uh, just message in the chat so that I know, alhamdulillah, everyone is following so far. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam not only faced physical challenges, but he also faced emotional challenges in Karbobala itself. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was tested to the ultimate climax that any person can be tested. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam emotion was teased on the day of Ashura, which we may hear indication when we recite the Maqtal, but the true Masaib of how much pain, emotional pain, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, suffered from the enemies, we cannot comprehend. Even Imam Zamana has mentioned in Ziyarat Nahi about how Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was so stricken by grief and pain and agony emotionally and even his body itself as we read the maqtal how much wounds about abdullah hussain alayhi salam suffered on the day of ashura his body as you, mullah hussain alayhi salam from the arrows had some say 33 wounds of the arrows darba suyuf arba some say 34 wounds of the sword itself, and including the arrows, the spears, and the wounds. It says in total, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam had al fotis o mea jar. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam had 1,900 wounds and arrows and all types of dhulm done to him in, on the day of Ashura before his shahadat itself. And as I'm passing by, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam with the arrows and the spears which embraced his body, he was hanging on the earth of Karbobala due to the arrows and the spears which were clinged onto the body of Abu Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was in the air of Karbobala for three hours before his body laid on the plains of Karbobala. This is the atrocity and the dhulm Mullah Hussain alayhi salam suffered on the day of Ashura. Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas mentions some of the dhulm the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam suffered. Ibn Abbas, as you know, that he is regarded one of the great scholars of the 
Muslim Ummah, he, he writes a letter after the event of Karbubala. He says, Ya Yazid, inna min a'adhamil shamata hamluka hamluka banatu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam wa atfal wa atfalihi wa haramuhu wa haramuhu min al-Iraq ila al-Sham usara majlubin maslubin tara al-Nas kudrataka alayna O Yazid, the devil, the cursed, the greatest malicious crime you have done upon the Ahlul Bayt is that you have taken the ladies of the Ahlul Bayt captives and the children of Ahlul Bayt from Iraq to Sham and they were captives Majlubin they were they were their tents and they were looted of their belongings itself and you tara an nas you wanted to show people you have dominated the ahlul bayt alaihim then ibn abbas says fi dhannika innaka akhadta bi thar bi thar ahlika al kafara al fajra yawm badr that o oh, yazid la'natullah you have tried you had you think that you have taken the revenge of your Munqafir relatives who died in the battle of Badr. Then Ibn Abbas says, Wallahi, la'in asbahta. Look at Ibn Abbas and look, and as you have been listening to the Messiah of Mullah. Imam Zal Abidin al Islam yesterday that Mullah Zal Abidin al Islam cried for years and years on the Masibat of Mullah Hussein al Islam. He is an eyewitness. This Ibn Abbas, he was only been related the events from Imam Zal Abidin al Islam and Bibi Zainab Salamu alayha. What does he say? He says, Wallahi, I swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la in asbahta amina min jarhati yadi. Tama anta bi aminin min jarhati lisani. Ibn Abbas was so much in the state of rage of what Yazid Laknatullah had done that he says that even though I would not be able to take revenge and teach you a lesson with my sword, by my hand, however, However, you will not be able to stop me by condemning you by my tongue itself. Teaching us the maqamat of Amr bin Ma'roof, Ibn Abbas itself. That Ibn Abbas says that I will condemn you wherever I go for the atrocity and the crime which you have done. And as I'm passing by, if Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was in Karbobala, they would have killed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam on the day of Ashura. Because remember brothers, I want to highlight this point again and again because Karbobala is our lifeline. Karbobala is our, our identity. Ali Akbar and Hazrat Ali Asghar, both of them were the replica. They were the, they were the replica image of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa Ali Asghar as well. You may not have heard this, but Ali Asghar has been mentioned in the books of Maqtal that he was also the Shabi of Rasulullah. Ali Akbar was the Shabi. And this is the reason why that the body of Ali Akbar was trodden by the hooves of the horses because they wanted to take revenge from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of their of Kafir relatives which were killed in the Battle of Badr by trodding on the body of Ali Akbar. This is what this Banu Umayyah, La'natullah, when we say La'natullah, we include all of them. And remember, Yazid is only a puppet, but the true culprits of Karbobala are the people who brought Saqifa itself. And even Mola Hussein alayhi salam has said in Bihar that Wallahi, Wallahi, Fulanun Fulanun Kataluni, 
So and so had killed me in Karbobala. They are the true per 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 perpetrators of Karbobala. They were the puppets of those who were in Sakifa and chose the first Khalifa itself. And then in another event about the Asir al Qurubat, it's about the we are not so Mola Hussain alayhi salam was tortured and even the thirst of Mola Hussain alayhi salam, brothers, we have we talk about the thirst of Ali Asghar, but the thirst of Mola Hussain alayhi salam, we have we have not comprehended itself. How thirsty Mola Hussain alayhi salam was before his shahadat. It says in the in this is a book by our uh, Sunni ulama Shabrawi Jamaluddin. He says that wa manauhu min al ma fi wa manauhu min al ma fi shadid that Mola Hussain alayhi salam and his holy household were prevented from water on a severe day of heat itself of the day of Ashura. And Mullah Hussain alayhi salam before his shahadat, uh, when he was alone and fighting in the battle, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was teased of his thirst itself. This is the dhulm upon Abu Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam. And you say that why we say lanat upon these? When we curse them, you have hit there, you have there those the people who have killed Mola Hussain alayhi salam, they are the authors and the they are the narrators of the ahadith of your books who you call Seha itself. This is your deen. Your deen is from the enemies of Mola Hussain alayhi salam. What can we expect from you as well? If you love Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, then you should be particip participating in the azar of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. Not being spectators on the corners itself. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, in, in this book it says that when Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was fighting alone in the battle of Karbobala, thumma, it says, Saru yatarauna elehi bikiza bikizan minal min balbara mamlua ma baridan fayakulu. They were then teasing Mullah Hussain alayhi salam before his shahadat with cups of water, cold cups of water, and showing him this is water, you want water? Mola Hussain alayhi salam addressed them. He says, Uqsimu alaykum. I swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bijaddi. Bijaddi. Those who believe in Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah. Look at what is happening to Mola Hussain alayhi salam. If you love Mola Hussain alayhi salam, then look at what is happening to the beloved of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. For whom Mola Hussain, Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam. al Hassan wa al Hussain, Sayyida Shabab Ahl al Jannah. They are the youth of. of the youth, the, the chief of the youth of paradise, and they he is the one who is the beloved Hussein Omini. Hussein is from me. This is what you're doing to the flesh of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the plains of Karbobala. Mula Hussein alayhi salam, Uksimu bijaddi, Uksimu alaykum. I swear by, I take the qasim upon you of my grandfather. Illa saqaytu muni that quench my first sharbatan. Why? Ubaridu. Biha Kabidi, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam's thirst was so great that his liver was burning of his thirst itself. This is the gravity, gravity of the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. It's not only his lip was dry. He, as you, we have read in the Ziyarat Nahiyah, his lips were torn, his tongue was so dry, as Ali Akbar mentioned and witnessed, testifies it, oh my father, your tongue is dry like wood. But further than that, that the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was affecting his liver itself. He said, give me a, 
a cup of water, a, a, a morsel of a drip of water so that I can cool my liver itself. And for a person who is a person of ghayur, of dignity and respect, one of the greatest greatest pain which any ghayur person can face is that asking from a cursed individual a need. And Mullah Hussain alayhi salam did this on the day of Ashura that he was in great pain due to his thirst and asking what it was a great pain for Mullah Hussain alayhi salam to ask water from these enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in our Shia books, the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, as-salamu ala asir al-qurbat. All of this is the introduction and commentary of asir al-qurbat. Peace and salutation upon the Imam who is captive by the calamities which he has faced. He became an asir. And the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, the grief and the pain of being not thirsty. As you know, if you're thirsty, you become unable to fight you become unable to work you become unable to move in Hasais al husayniya by Aytul, uh, by lama uh, jafar tostari in his book he says walakad athara al atashu fil husayn indeed the thirst affected mola husayn alayhi salam severely greatly fi arabati mawadi in four Hearts or limbs of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. So when we were Yashi at dinner, as Mullah Hussain alayhi salam has left a noha for us, oh she is, whenever you drink cold water, remember me. Oh she is, when you drink, well, oh she is, remember how I quench the thirst of Ali Asfa. Oh she is. When you drink cold water, remember it, and it is mustahab to say, Ya Allahumma an katalat al Hussein. And say, Ya Laytani, as Allah, Aytullah, Marhum, Adil Alawi has says, try to say a hundred times every day, Ya Laytani kuntum ma'akum fa'afuza fawza adima. Akash, I was in the day, recite this daily, brothers. Inshallah, may Allah give us a tawfiq that we can recite this and achieve the maqamat and the spirituality by this dua and become amongst the Ansar of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. It says the Atash of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam affected four parts of his body. Number one, al kabid When you become thirsty, severely thirsty, these limbs become in a, become affected. Number one, al as you know, jaundice itself. It's a it's a illness when the when you have not drinking enough water, that your liver now starts becoming starts reacting. The body, the liver of Mullah Hussain alayhi was affected. Number two, al shafahatu the lips of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. They were so torn itself. Wal lisan, the tongue, as Ali Akbar alayhi salam mentioned, O Baba, your tongue is dry like wood. And then, wal aynu. It says that the, the eyes of Aba Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam, even the water in the eyes of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam had dried and they had become dark itself due to the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. And Mullah Hussain alayhi salam addressed Shimr on the day of Ashura and says, Faqal Hussain alayhi salam, Ida kana la buddha min qatli faskidi. If it is necessary that you have to martyr me, give me a drop of water. Shimmer says, Laknatullah, hey heart. Wallahi, la dukta, atratan wahidatan minal ma, hatta tadhuku al maut, gussa ba'da gussa. No, hey heart. Impossible. By hey heart, wallahi, by God, you will not taste a single drop of water until you taste death after choking you, after choking you, choking you, death, choking you, death. Ghussa, ba'da ghussa, it's a 
This is Shimr Lain addressing Mullah Hussain when he is beseeching them, seeking and doing istighatha for the water on the day of Ashura. Even the Atash of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam is something which even before the events of Karbobala, say the Fatim Zahra salamu alayha mentions to her Baba Baba, since I'm expecting Hussain, he is always saying to me in his my stomach, Al Atash, Al Atash. This is before creation that Mullah Hussain alayhi salam knew about the event of Karbobala and this Atash. When you mention the name of Mullah Hussain, you remember the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. Has Adam alayhi salam and has Jibrail alayhi salam mentioned about the Atash and the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam? It says in the Bihar, Bihar al Anwar, Qala Jibrail, Wala Duka, Hada Yusabu, Bi Musibat and Tasguru in the Ha'al Musaib. O Jibra, O Adam alayhi salam. Your son, Mola Hussain alayhi salam, will face calamities, all calamities in front of him, holds no value. They are worthless. They have no value in front of the calamities about Abdullah Hussain alayhi salam will face. Ya akhi ma umahiya. Has Adam alayhi salam, what are they? Yuqtalu atshanan. He will be killed thirsty, gariban, in a foreign land. Wahidan, he will be left alone and there will be no Faridan and there will be no person supporting him. Laysa lahu nasir, there will be no person as a helper or a person, wala mu'inan and no mu'in and assistance. Walau tarahu ya Adam, O Adam, if you see him before the creation when Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was in the form of Noor. Well, and as Adam, as Jibreel alayhi salam said to Adam, if you see Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, he will be saying, Wa atasha, wa qillata nasira. He will say, oh thirst, oh thirst, and oh wa qillata nasira, how little supporters I have itself. Hatta yahul al atash baynahu wa bayna sama kaddukhan. That the, the comparison of the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam has been given like in a daylight, you see smoke going into the skies. This is how visible the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam on a, a day where you have the blue skies and then you see smoke going to the skies itself. This is how Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam depicted, illustrated the picture of the thirst of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. Falam yujib. Then he says, <clears throat> No one answer his cause except with the swords. Then it mentions in the books of Maqtal. Falam yujib ahad illa bisayyub. No one responded to his call except with the swords. Wa sharib ala hutuf. Wa yudbahu dhib hashat min al qafa. And then he was slaughtered like a sheep. How an animal is slaughtered from the back of his neck itself. Allahu Akbar. And then in the Masaib of Asir al Qurabad. It is me mentioned, Sayyidah Zainab Salamullah alayha. I will end on this. There are other things, but I will end on this. That Sayyidah Zainab Salamullah alayha, when Mullah Hussain alayhi salam was clinged onto the arrows and the spears and was between the air and and before he came, his body came and lied on the plains of Karbobala. Say that Zainab Salamullah alayha went towards Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. 
and she says, Sayyidah Zainab Salamu Allah Alayha, Waja'alat Taqulu, Waja'ala means coming to me, Bada, she started, Waja'alat, Taqulu, and then Sayyidah Zainab Salamu Allah Alayha started to say, to Mullah Hussain, to Mullah Hussain Alayhi Salam, Aanta Akhi Al Hussain, are you my brother Hussain? Anta ibn Ammi, are you the son of my mother? Are you the son of my mother? Anta Nur Basari, are you the Nur of my eyes? Anta ibn Ali al Murtada, are you the son of Ali al Murtada? Anta ibn Fatim to Zahra, are you the son of Fatim to Zahra? When Fatim to Bibi Zan Islam was uttering these words, Mola Hussain alayhi salam was unconscious. When Mola Hussain alayhi salam Heard the call of Sayyidah Zainab Salamullah Alayha. Faramakaha bitter fee sharif for a shara ilayha be yadi for Gashi Alayha. Mola Hussain Alay Salam when fought Bibi Zainab Salamullah Alayha came. When Mola Hussain Alay Salam was going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the last throes of Mola Hussain Alay Salam and the last breaths of Mola Hussain Alay Salam, Mola Hussain Alay Salam could not speak due to the severity of. Of wounds which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam has suffered. He only was able to point with his finger to say that Zainab salam mullah alayha. And then Mullah Hussain alayhi salam says, Faramakaha bitarafi as sharif wa ashara alayha bi yadihi. Faghashiya alayha falamma afaqat qalat. Sayyidah Zainab salam mullah alayha fell upon Mullah Hussain alayhi salam and fainted. Akhi bihaqi jaddi Rasulillah. Oh, my dear brother, I beseech you, I ask you the wasta of Bibi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Illa ma kallam tani, kallam, kallam tani. I ask you in the haq of Mullah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, speak to me. Wa bihaqi abi amir al-mu'minin. I ask you by the wasta and the wasila of Mola Ali alayhi salam. Illa ma khatab tani. Speak to me. Address me. Bihaqi ummi al-zahra. Answer me. Ya dhya'an ayni. Oh, the nur of my eye. Ya shaqeek ruhi jawibni. Oh, my brother. Oh, my soul. Answer me. Fantabaha al Hussein min qawli. Mullah Hussain alayhi salam became conscious and aware of what Bibi Zainab salam alayhi addressing. Ya ukhta, hadha yawm al-tanad wal hizak. Oh, my sister, this is a day of calling and shaking. Hadha al-yawm wa'adana bihi jaddi. Huwa ila mushtaq. This is the day which my grandfather had promised. وَإِنْ دَذَالِكَ جَلَسَتْ خَلْفَهَا وَأَجْلَسَتْ حَاذِنَ لَهُ بِصَدْرِهَا فَأَلْتَفَتَ الْحُسَيْنِ She sat behind Mula Hussain alayhi salam and embraced and started crying. And Mula Hussain alayhi salam, أُخَيَّ زَيْنَبْ أَسَرْتُ قَلْبِ You broke my heart. وَزِدْتَ Listen to the أَسِيرِ الْقُرُبَاتِ Mula Hussain alayhi salam then addresses Bibi Zainab salam wa alayhi salam. Was it to carbon foca carbi? Oh, Zeda, by you coming to me and embracing me and, and crying upon me, you have increased my stress upon me. For Billahi Alay, I ask by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Lama Sakanti, I ask you to do patience itself. And then Bibi Zainab Salamullah Alayha says, Fasakata Fasahat, she starts screaming. Wa wela akhi ibn ammi kayf askunu wa askutu want to be hard al hala how can I do patient and seeing in this state that your blood is gushing from your bodies itself inna Allah wa inna alayhi rajiun Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq to understand upon the dhulm upon the Ahlul Bayt salam, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst the Ansar of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq that we can live 
truly to the teaching of Ahlul Bayt as we recite in Ziyarat Ashur, Allahumma al Mahya ya Mahya Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad wa Mamati Mamati Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad, Allahumma razukni shafaat al Hussein yom al Wurud, wa thabbit li qadam sidkni inna ka ma al Hussein wa ashab al Hussein. الذين بذلوا موحجهم دون الحسين عليه السلام في الدنيا والآخرة. and I request everyone collectively to recite. just bear with me one second to recite. Dua Imam Zamana Ajalu Taala Faraja. He is the Muntaqim of of the blood of Mola Hussein alayhi salam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. If you want to come on the mic, you can come on the mic. I have allowed everyone. To unmute themselves now. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma kulli waliyika la hujjat ibn la hasan. Salawatuka alayhi wa ala abai. Fi hadhi sa'a wa fi kulli sa'a. Waliyan wa hafidhan wa qaidan wa nasira. Wa dalilan wa ayna hatta tuskinahu arzaka tu'a. وَتُمَتِّعَهُ فِيهَا تَوِيلًا وَاجْعَلْنَا مِنْ أَنْصَارِهِ وَالْمُسْتَشْحَدِينَ بَيْنَ يَدِكْ بِرَحْمَتِكَ يَا أَرْحَمَ الرَّاحِمِينَ اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد إن شاء الله I hope some of the words which I've mentioned in regards to السلام ولا أسير القربات you understand some of the ظلم and the suffering which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam suffered on the day of Ashura itself. So when you, there are etiquette and, ak and akhlaq, which my previous recording do have, listen to them. If you're going for Ziyarat Arba'in, listen to the how you're meant to go and how to give Pursa so that so that when you go for the Pursa on Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, the day of Arba'in, that we recite in Ziyarat of Mullah Imam Zain Imam Radha alayhi salam, Anta tasma'u qalami wa taraddu salami when we say salams upon you, you listen to my salam and you respond to our salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfi that when we go for the ziyarat, that we are able to, urafa and those who are wali of Allah, they are able to hear the salam of the, from the qabr of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. And uh, I think I didn't, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but when you go for the ziyarat of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam, Mullah Hussain alayhi salam says to his father, Mula Ali alayhi salam, Ya, ya Amir al Mu'mini, oh my father, do dua for the Zayr of mine itself. And he goes and he says to Allah, oh Allah, these are my Zayr. Oh Allah, the promise I have made with you, fulfill that promise and answer the du'as. This is the qara, this, this is the. That this is the generosity of Mullah Hussain and the maqam of Mullah Hussain due to the maqam which Mullah Hussain alayhi salam has in the presence of Allah. Allah gives what he gives to the desire of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam. Anyone who has any type of grief or any type of illness or any type of hajat, go to the zari of Mullah Hussain alayhi salam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer your du'as inshallah. And those who are going, inshallah, remember us as in your du'as as well. Jazakumullah khaira. Anyone have any questions?